Assalamu alaikum. This is Komal Arivani from Zabis. First of all, I'm thankful to MUET for providing this platform to showcase my skills. So here I present my project on digital ATM machine developed via Swing graphical user interface and Java programming language. To make the ATM more user friendly, I have inserted the greetings. Welcome to digital ATM. All right. Let's have a demonstration of my project. We start by logging in using a security pin, which I have set as 5445. If I input any other uh, pin, the screen will show invalid password command. So let's check. If I input 1506 as my password, it will show invalid pin. So as I told you before, my password is 5445. And here I go. The ATM has four parts and functions including balance, withdrawal, loan, and deposit. To begin with, there is existing balance of 1000. This is a mini This is a mini statement that is generated, which shows date and time particulars. After checking my, OK, I can even reset this. Well, yeah, I can reset the mini statement if I wish to. OK, after checking my balance, now I wish to withdraw some amount. For that purpose, I'll use a withdrawal function. OK, the amount that can be withdrawn shall be in the multiples of 100 and should not exceed the current balance. If any of this condition is violated, then a pop-up appears, indicating the type of violation. Now, let's see. Let, uh, let's try it. Uh, if I if I put input my amount to be 50, there is, uh, there is a pop-up which shows that please enter the amount in multiples of 100, and there is a history transaction history which shows that my available available balance and my generated request which was quite unsuccessful and because of the coronavirus because of this pandemic i have included this command thank you for using our atm services stay home and stay safe unsuccessful transaction okay okay so secondly i said that if i try to withdraw more than my current balance again there is a pop-up that I have insufficient balance and transaction history. Okay. Moving on towards the deposit. If I want to deposit a uh, thousand, there's a mini statement generated that I had the available available balance to be thousand rupees. I deposited thousand and now my new balance is two thousand. So okay. Now let's move on towards uh, one more thing I forgot to tell you. Uh, if I want to withdraw uh, 500, then I was told since I deposited 1,000, I had I had my uh, uh, previous balance as 2,000, so the total balance was 2,000. And after withdrawal uh, withdrawal of 500, I have the available balance of 1,500. Right? If I If I want to see the balance uh, sheet, this is the mini statement. OK, so let's reset. OK, now moving on towards the loan calculator, which can let us know the monthly and total payment given the loan amount, the market rate, and the tenor uh, of the loan. So let's say that uh, our loan amount is to be 10,000. Our market rate is 1%. And uh, we can pay within two years. OK. Let's generate. Uh, this is the monthly payment, and this is the monthly payment. This is the total payment. If I want to generate the receipt, I can also do so. And this is the receipt of my loan. I can reset. Uh, one more thing I forgot to tell you. If I activate this deposit, uh, deposit button, then only my reset and quit buttons will be enabled. If, if I... If I act, if I activate this loan button, then all these four buttons will be enabled. Right now, I can quit. Uh, I can close my programs with two ways: either cancel, do you want to exit, yes or no, or I can even do so using this quit. Do you want to exit, yes or no, whatever you want to do. So yes, I want to exit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Enough is.